Hi, I'm Joey Hernandez. This is my car, Family Jewels, and you're watching The Art of Lowriding. This episode is brought to you by Hoppo's Custom Suspension Works has everything you need for your air or hydraulic suspension needs, including a multi-bay garage with highly skilled installers and a full machine shop to make your custom suspension dreams a reality. Visit Hoppo's at 11195 South Central Avenue or at hopposonline.com. This is the art of low riding. A true automotive enthusiast has a passion for their dream car and strives to create their own vision of what that car should be. With each vehicle owner being the artist and their car as a canvas, creating automotive art and their dream ride. Today we're at the Los Angeles Convention Center at the second annual Torres Empire Lowrider Super Show. So join me as we uncover the art of lowriding. I'm here with Armando, owner of this beautifully restored 61 Impala convertible. Armando, give us a, a background of what the car was like when you first got it. Well, when I first bought it, it was a project car. So uh, when you first got the car, it was completely rotted out? It was, it was a bad, bad condition. Well, I restored the whole the whole car. Uh, did it have an engine, a tranny? Uh, was it just a rolling chassis? What was it when you got the, the car itself? It doesn't have no motor, no transmission. Just the frame and the moldings and the interior. But that was, that's, that was about it. And so you could see right through the floors in? It was a hole in the floor? It was a big hole. <laughs> you can see through the, through the floor. Yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. So you took the body off the frame? Yes, I, yes we did. Yeah. Yeah, I took it to my friend shop and that's what we did. The body went to my friend shop and, and I started working on the on the frame. The frame. Yeah. Taking it taking it taking it in pieces to start re restoring. And so they you had them cut out all the pieces and all, uh, all the all the rust out, weld everything up, do all the body work and then they painted it this color? Well before we start welding the pieces we send it to some blasted. We put it in a dolly. Basically, we turn like a sideways, that way you can see everything on the, on the belly of the car, just to, to make sure that everything was perfect. And then we put it down. When they make sure that all the belly was done, we put it down and start working on the, on the body, the sides and the top. So you got the frame back and then put the body back on it, and then you started blocking it and doing all the stuff on the body? Exactly. Before we do the body, we put it on the frame. Because if, if we don't put it on the frame, you know, they had to go through the body again because it get like a kind of wavy stuff like that. We made sure that everything was perfect. Now, the paint, is it an original 61 color? No, that's a custom, custom paint. My body make like a kind of mix. It's like a man green with a white pearl and a gold pearl on it. That's why it looks sometimes like gold, sometimes it looks like white. Oh, nice. So it's got, a, it's got pearls in it. Did you do the frame the same color? No, 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 not really. It's different color. The frame is different color to match the color of the car. So it's yeah. And it's still a green, but it's uh, it's off a little bit different color to kind of give a contrast. Exactly. Yeah. That's what we did on the frame. Um, when you had the the frame, did you put the engine and tranny in first uh, before you put the body on, or did you do that after? No, we do in the frame before we put the body, so we made sure that everything was sitting right. Uh, what kind of engine and tranny do you have on it? I got a 350 engine and a 350 uh, transmission. And you paint, you painted the uh, the transmission, the engine, everything to match, and uh, and you chromed everything out before you put it on the on the frame. Yes, that's what we did to paint the transmission and the and the motor, everything. So uh, it looks like you got a lot of billet parts, a custom air cleaner, all that stuff. Did you you put that on after you dress everything up? Yes, yes, that's what we did. Start putting every all the chrome on it. After we put it on the frame. We start putting all the chrome, serpentine bell kit and everything. Chrome, chrome the fender wells and the, and the hinges and all that stuff too, right? Yes, I, I took it to a chrome shop to chrome the fender wells, both sides, but I decided to change a little bit and I, I let it, I let the chrome inside the motor to be chrome and under the tires to be like painted. That way it looks kind of different way. Yeah, because if you don't if you don't do that, it shadows nickel shadows underneath, and it doesn't look quite the same, right? Exactly, exactly. So now you got the body on there and the frame, the body works, it's all done, painted. 
uh, the car is on a rolling chassis. Did, did you start put, uh, putting uh, all the chrome on at that time? You assembled the body, the doors, and everything at that time? Yes, that's what we did. As soon as we put the doors and the front end, we start working on the side moldings to put all the side moldings. And then uh, after the side moldings, we jump to the power windows to put it on, and, and then I'll go to the interior. You, you Not only do you have power windows, but you got power wing windows on there too, right? Yes. That's what I try to put everything powered on my car. Okay, what, what kind of setup you got, hydraulic? I got a two pumps, six batteries, got four dumps. It's a basic, something basic my way, you know. I don't want nothing crazy. I want something simple. I, I noticed something a little different that you did is that you put a, a Continental kit on the back of the 61 Impala. Not too many guys do that. No, because I always like the Continental kit on the, on the 61s. To me, it's, it's, it's something nice on my car, yeah. and I decided to do that. Plus, like us, I'm a machinist. I, I custom made the, comp the glove compartment door. I do like a gas pedal and brake pedal myself. That's something that I did myself. All the glass, everything looks brand new, no? That's what I did. I put everything new, the new glass. I tried to match green with like the car because you know you can find like a clear glass. I tried to match it with a car, like a green color, to match it with a body. Now the undercarriage, your rear end, uh, everything's chrome under. Did you do anything in the, under there? Anything different? Yes, that's what I did. I got nine inches of four rear end because when you put the skirt, you can drive the car. You know, you have to cut the rear end. That's what I went for four nine inch uh, rear end, and uh, everything is chrome. You can tell, and everything's chrome under my car. Uh, so you got disc brakes all the way around it. Yes, yes I did, and I put a sweet bar doing this in case that you know. It drags on the floor or something happened. That's what it's like a guard for the undercarriage. Armando, thank you thank very you. much for showing us your car. I appreciate it. Armando's car is another great example of today's lowrider. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show, and I look forward to seeing you next time as we uncover the art of lowriding. For over a year now, we have been submitting our shows to TV networks with no luck. They feel that lowriding is not a big enough market for television. Help us show them how big the lowriding community really is. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos with everyone you know. And like us on Facebook.